YouTube family. Welcome back. It's your instructor Rashid here. Today's episode is going to be a game changer as we diving into the fascinating world of Power BI. We will be creating a complete dashboard that covers everything from expenses and incomes to the detailed of profit and loss. So buckle up. It's going to be an exciting ride. Now if you took a look at your dashboard, it's neatly divided into two sections, expenses and incomes. At the top, we have got a huge 2.1 million in profit impressive right and don't forget if you are hungry for more power bi projects check out our dedicated playlist digging into expenses let's dive into the expense page i'm clicking on this expense and it will send me to the page of the expenses first up we are looking at the date wise expenses trend on a smooth line chart it's like a timeline of where our money is going then we are having the expenses by category expenses by days as you can see on tuesday we have more expenses comparing with the rest days of the week similarly we are having the accumulation of expense how expense is building with the passage of dates now if i will click this salary it will slice the whole dashboard with reference to the salary so this is the trend of the salary if i will click on tuesday now the dashboard is sliced with reference to this Tuesday. Similarly, I can slice the data from my these slices and here I'm having the total expenses. Now I'm going back by clicking this button this income icon and it will land me on this page here i'm having my date wise incomes as you can see on this line graph and here i'm having income by party income by day name and the running income how the income is building with the passage of the days similarly you can slice the data directly from the charts or you can slice data from here as well So basically this was the introduction of this powerful Power BI dashboard. Now we will be moving toward building this complete dashboard. So let's get started. So now first of all, I'm going to open Power BI. So the first step is to loading the data. I'm clicking this import data from Excel. This is expense income open. So I'm having all of these tables in my Excel sheet. So I will be selecting one by one. This is my expense expense category. So all tables selected. I'm going to load this all tables. I already fixed all the issues related to formatting. So that's why I'm loading directly. So now I'm having all of my data here. I'm going to visit this table view and from here I'm going to add one new table. This is my calendar is equal to calendar auto. I'm going to add new column year year and here I will be selecting my this date column calendar date date parenthesis close enter. So this is my year now I'm adding one more column month is equal to month similarly I'm selecting that date column parenthesis close enter again new column day calendar date date parenthesis close enter. So now I'm going to my this model view. Basically, I'm having this income, this expense. These both tables are my transactional tables because here I'm having my date wise expenses and my date wise incomes. So now I have to connect all of these tables parties, expense category, and calendar. So this is connected already. Party ID is connected with party name, and this expense category ID will need to connect with my this category. This date column need to connect to this date. Similarly, this date to this date. So now all of my these fact tables having one to many relations with each other. This one mean one and static mean many. Here in calendar, I'm having one are unique values and in all of my these tables, I'm having my many values. I'm going to delete this relationship. If you want to learn this in details, then you must watch this episode where I have explained each and everything about one to many relationship. Link in the description below. More you can click on the right side of this screen. Now all of my these tables tables are connected to each other and I'm going to my this report view and here I'm selecting this interdata. In interdata, I will be adding all of my DAX measures. These are my calculations load. So my first measure is total expense is equal to sum expense. In expense, I need to calculate this amount. 
close similarly i will be adding new myer total income is equal to sum in my income table i need to calculate this amount parenthesis close enter so this is my income now i have to calculate profit or loss is equal to total income minus total expense enter so this will be my profit or loss now i have to calculate my running expense is equal to so first of all i will be typing calculate and i need to calculate my this total expense comma whenever you will be using the calculate formula first of all it required a expression and the second thing it needs the filter so now i'm going to use the formula of filter filter formula is used to filter some data on the basis of any condition so now all in all i'm selecting my calendar date basically this function will remove all the filters comma i want to filter this data on the basis of calendar date less than or equal to the maximum date of calendar table so now i'm going to press ok similarly i will making this formula for my income new myer this is my running income i will replace this myer with my total income and the rest formula will be same filter and firstly i will remove the filters and then i will set it to the maximum date okay so now i have loaded my data and as well as i have completed the data modeling part now i have to prepare my dashboard so the first one is the expense analysis and from here i will be selecting this stacked column chart so from here i will be selecting my this total expense to y axis and from calendar days to x axis so this is my date wise expenses and i will be selecting this one now i'm going to format your visual from journal i will be visiting my this title text color to white and background color to black i will making this bold and making this center align so this is my total expense by days from visual i will be selecting this data labels selecting this one the background color of the data labels will be black transparency to zero and the value make it white and make it bold and add further analysis to your visual from here i will be selecting my this average line add on the data label and i will make the text color to black so this is my average expense so now i'm copying my this visual i will be replacing this clustered bar chart and from here i will replace this day with this expense category total expenses by expense category now i'm selecting my this graph from here from journal i will be selecting this effect show shadow i'm selecting this one i'm copying pasting it again and now i will be replacing my this expense category name with my name of the day so right now i didn't have the name of the day so i will be visiting my this calendar and here i will be adding a new column day name is equal to format calendar date day comma and i need this format of the day so now i'm moving back day name to y axis so now i'm having my these expenses on the basis of days on tuesday i'm having more expenses so similarly i will be selecting it again copying and pasting it and now i will be replacing this with area chart i will be replacing this day name with my this date and here i will remove year and quarter and i will replace this total expense with my this running expense so basically this is showing me the accumulation with the passage of days i'm selecting this again and from here i will removing this my average line for this as well this average line because i need this average line here only now i'm going to insert from insert i will be pasting this shape so now i'm selecting this slicer now i will be visiting this view and i will be selecting this one now again i am selecting my this shape from here i will be visiting style and from style i will be selecting this color now i am selecting my this slicer and i will be selecting year from my this calendar i am going to visit this format your visual and from slicer setting i will be selecting drop down now again i will be visiting this value section and the background 
of this value will be black and the font color will be white making this font color bold then I'm visiting this effect under journal and I will be making this shadow on and shadow will be inside so similarly I'm copying pasting it again this is my month again I'm copying and pasting it this is my expense category name so now I can select year month and any category from here if I will be selecting this rent so it will slice the whole dashboard with reference to this slicer so now I'm clearing this slicer now I will be selecting this card from here I will be visiting this DAX calculation and from DAX calculation I will be selecting this total expense 4 million callout value and I will be making this 20 display unit will be million but I will make this 2 making this bold so this is my total expense 3.55 million if I will be selecting my this salaries this salary is not filtering the whole dashboard with reference to this selection if I will be selecting anything from my chart directly so to fix this I will be selecting my any chart and I will be visiting this format from format I need to select this added interactions and after selecting this one now I will be selecting this one this one and this one now I have to select my this chart and I will be selecting this one this one and this one now I will be selecting my this chart and I will be selecting this one this and this now I will be selecting my this chart and I will be selecting this one this one and this one now if I will be selecting directly this salary it will slice my whole dashboard if I will be selecting this Tuesday so it will slice the data with reference to this day my this expense analysis is ready now right click on it make it duplicate this is my income analysis and I will be selecting my this graph and I will replace this total expense with my total income similarly I will be selecting my this chart and I will replace this expense category name with my this party name and this total expense with my total income similarly I will be selecting my this total expense by day name I will replace this total expense with my total income similarly I will be selecting this one and I will replace this running expense with my running income similarly I will be selecting my this expense category name and I will replace this with my party name and similarly I will be selecting my this total expense and I will replace this with my total income my this analysis is also ready so now here I'm adding one page and this is my home page now I'm moving to my this income analysis and I'm copying my this income paste it here from journal I will be selecting this effect from effect background color to this one now I'm moving to my expense copying this expense and pasting it to my this main page Similarly, I will be selecting this journal from effect. I will change its background color to this one. I'm copying and pasting it again. And I will replace this one with my profit and loss. This one. So I'm having profit of 2 million. So now I will be visiting this image section. From here, I will be selecting this. And again, selecting this one. So this is my income. And this is my expense. I'm going to insert. From insert, I will be pasting this text box. This is my expense, Arial 24, bold, center align, copying and pasting it. This is my income, I'm copying this one and this one, control C, control B. Now I'm visiting this journal, from journal I'm selecting this property, making it 50, 50. From here, get more visuals and here I will be searching, scroller. Click this one, add, the visual was successfully imported to this report. So I will be selecting this one from here and in this scroller I will be pasting my this. So these are my total expenses and I want to show these expenses on the basis of category. So here I will be selecting my category name and I will be visiting this general section in title. These are my expenses by category name, changing its background color to this one and text color to white. So now I'm visiting my this expense analysis and I will visiting this insert from insert. I will be selecting this shape. 
and now i'm visiting my this view section from view section i will be selecting this bookmark and i'm adding one bookmark here the name of this bookmark is expense analysis basically this screen is saved in this bookmark i'm visiting my this income analysis and similarly i'm saving one bookmark here the name of this bookmark is income analysis enter similarly i'm going to this home this format page canvas background from canvas background i will be selecting this browse and i will be selecting this one and making its transparency to 80 okay so now this is looking perfect so now i will be selecting my this expense and i will be visiting this action on this action selecting bookmark from bookmark i will be selecting this expense and similarly i will be selecting this income bookmark and i will be selecting the income bookmark similarly i'm saving this home bookmark with the name of home now if i will press ctrl enter on this it will send me to my this expense analysis now i will be selecting this one if i want to revert back to my home page so action bookmark to home similarly in income this one bookmark and i will be selecting this home bookmark means if i will click on it it will send me to the main page so finally this is ready so now at the end under home i will click on publish because i want to publish my this dashboard on power bi portal select replace got it now i will be visiting this app.powerbi.com and on my home page i'm having this coin control xls power bi if i will click so the dashboard is here and now you can explore this dashboard as per your requirement so thank you so much for your time and i will see you in the next episode of this playlist where we are creating the different dashboards in power bi goodbye